everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about two fragrances that I have been recently testing. They have been somewhat hyped in the community at some point, but they did not work out for me. So these are basically two disappointing fragrances that uh, I thought I would love, basically. So the first one here is from the house of Dior from their private collection. This one is called Eau Noir. I have a sample of it here. Uh, Eau Noir was released in 2004. The perfumer is Francis Kirkshawn. And I think that this was then discontinued for a while. And then now it's coming back. I, I think it's being re-released. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'm just going on rumors. I'm not sure if it's true, but that's what I heard. So Eau Noir. This one here looked really, really interesting based on the notes. So the notes in the top are thyme and sage. The mid notes are lavender, coffee, Virginia cedar, immortelle, and saffron. And base notes are licorice, vanilla, violet leather, and stems greens. So yeah, the notes in here looked amazing with the thyme and sage, lavender, so very herbal. And then there's this coffee note that I was really interested in because I love coffee notes and fragrances. And then licorice, vanilla, it just sounded wonderful. And <laughs> so the first thing that I get here is the thing that is the reason why it doesn't work out for me. And basically what I smell here first and foremost is the saffron. And saffron for me is a very tricky note. Uh, sometimes I can handle saffron if the note isn't prominent, if it's in the background, if it's kind of blending in with other notes so it kind of hides a little bit because it does give a nice um, spice. But when saffron is at the forefront, which for when I wear it on my skin, I get this big burst, <laughs> intense saffron spice that it just takes over the entire thing. And it is just so overwhelming for me. Um, so yes, on the top here, we get the saffron. And then behind that, I smell the lavender and the vanilla and the licorice. And I absolutely love lavender and vanilla in perfumes, also licorice. Uh, that combo is really nice. But, <laughs> but in Eau Noir on my skin when I wear it, uh, it smells different on the paper, by the way. Uh, but on my skin, it's the saffron that is most noticeable. And I smell that mostly throughout the, the entire fragrance. And I kind of wish that those... Uh, lavender, vanilla, licorice notes, even coffee. I don't really smell coffee in here when I wear it. Um, I wish those were the main uh, accords and notes in here, but because the saffron is just way too much, it smells very spicy, like a spice cabinet, and it's overwhelming, and it just, I could not, could not wear this. But yeah, on paper, it's not as spicy. So maybe on my skin, you know, it just brings out that saffron more. And yeah, that saffron is just too much and it did not work at all. So this one was a fail for me. When it comes to lavender and vanilla perfumes, my absolute favorite is from the house of Penhaligans and it's called Brilliantly British. I believe this was a limited edition this bottle is everything it's so so adorable with the little bow tie it's just so cute and this one i'm not sure if it's still available or not uh, but i am so 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 happy that i was able to get this brilliantly british oh. <laughs> It's definitely a hidden gem in my collection and it is lavender, vanilla. There are some gourmandy notes in here as well. Um, I believe there's toffee, vanilla, making it really sweet. It kind of smells like to me or reminds me of a lavender scented flavored ice cream because there is this nice creaminess in here as well. And so this for me is an herbal vanilla gourmand. Yeah, it's just so soft and elegant and it's just fantastic. 
So that's my favorite vanilla lavender scent. Another one that I love as well is Amouage Sunshine Man. Also a beautiful lavender vanilla. And you also get the nice green notes in there as well. But the Eau Noir is just so heavy on the saffron that it didn't work out for me. However, if you're into saffron and you like the scent of saffron, then this is one to try because it is just so, so loud <laughs> that I imagine if you are a saffron lover, you would absolutely love this because if I can take away or like tone down the saffron in here, I, I do pick up on this beautiful herbal vanilla lavender uh, licorice earthy smell that is also very smooth and green as well. But yeah, <laughs> very challenging scent. It's not a bad scent, but basically it's just not for me. So that's the Eau Noir from Dior Private Collection. The second perfume that I have here is from the house of Dolce & Gabbana. And I have tried this scent uh, when it was first released at the store and I was unimpressed by it. It's D&G Pineapple. This one has the most cute bottle cap. I am kind of looking for the Holy Grail pineapple scent. I am looking for a scent that smells exactly and literally like pineapple, juicy, ripe pineapple. And I haven't found it yet, you guys. This one was released in 2020 and uh, the notes, pineapple, Sicilian mandarin in the top. Mid is jasmine sandback and base notes are vanilla absolute, ambergris, tobacco, and orchid. So D&G pineapple, it doesn't really capture that authentic smell of pineapple. Not at all. And when I have tested this as well, uh, this one is just very, very light. It's almost like a body spray for me. So just looking at the notes, I thought it would be more complex because there's other things other than pineapple in here with the ambergris, tobacco and orchid. I don't get that on my skin. I get this kind of body spray-ish pineapple scent that is very thin in texture. It's kind of sweet, but not as sweet as I like pineapple to be, like with the, when you're actually eating a ripe pineapple. At this point, I might as well take pineapple juice and like spray it on me because that's the perfume that I'm looking for. <laughs> but yeah, this D&G pineapple, it's not terrible. It's all right. It's not like the one. And um, yeah, you get nice citrus at the top with uh, the mandarin orange as well. But yeah, it's just too, it's just not it. It's not pineapple-y enough. And, uh, and then I am still on the hunt for a Holy Grail pineapple scent. And I would love to hear some suggestions from you guys of pineapple perfumes um, down in the comments. I would love to hear that. Another thing is some of you have asked me if I have found the best pina colada perfume. And I haven't. I'm still on the hunt for that as well. But I have been doing something with layering that comes pretty close to it. So I have two fragrances. This one is actually a cheapie from Jean Arthez or Jean Arthez. And it's a mango smoothie. It's a body and hair mist. And I actually really, really like this one, you guys. I actually like this one more than the expensive D&G pineapple. This one I bought on Notino, I think for like six or seven euros. And it's amazing. <laughs> for what it is, for the price that I paid, it's pretty much my favorite pineapple scent right now. And uh, the notes here, I'll just read them out quickly. There's top notes of black currant, mango, and pina colada. Middle notes are peach, pineapple, and passion fruit, and base notes are vanilla, white musk, and transparent blossom. And this one to me pretty much smells like pineapple more than mango. It's called mango smoothie, but it's more pineapple-y to me. 
and it's just a nice, fresh, realistic pineapple scent. <laughs> and now with this one, I do like to layer it with coconut perfumes. And so I kind of get that pina colada vibe. It's still not the pina colada scent, but I still really enjoy it. And I do layer it sometimes with the Dolce & Gabbana garden. And it kind of smells like coconut milk, especially in the opening. I get this big burst of realistic coconut milk. So when I layer these two, I do get that pina colada effect. This one drives down into more of a creamy, coconutty, uh, tropical white floral scent, which is also beautiful. But yeah, I've been really enjoying this combination more than the D&G pineapple, which I love the bottle of, but I really wanted to love it. But it just was just underwhelming, you know? It just wasn't enough pineapple for me. It's nice, but I'm not feeling the urge to own it or want to have it. But yeah, this combo here is fantastic. And that's my pina colada scent combo for now. But I am looking for pina colada in a bottle. And I'm also looking for a holy grail pineapple scent. And again, if you have recommendations for that, I would love to hear it. So yeah, that was my video on two perfumes that I thought I would love, but turns out that I didn't. If you've tried them, I'd love to hear your opinion on them in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in today, and I will see you soon in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.